Can I offer my welcome to this place? It's a holy place because God is, is here. That's what makes anywhere holy. I'm a, a great believer in starting on time, so I make it uh, a minute to go. So can we perhaps just spend this minute in reflection, silent reflection, and thinking about what happened 77 years ago, just about now and uh, the, the emotions that were going on in each of those young men's minds. So a moment or two of, of silent reflection. So I'm going to ask a member of our community, Anne Robson, to come and uh, read a little bit of background now. So Anne, please do come. Thank you. On the 21st of May, 1942, Wellington Bomber DV-841 from Operational Training Unit 25, Royal Air Force, crashed near here. According to eyewitnesses, the bomber, with one engine on fire, came low over St Thomas's Church at the west end of Stanley Crook and dropped down towards Roddymoor. It appeared that the pilot, Sergeant David Roberts, struggled to control the plane, managing to avoid Roddy Moore's houses before crashing in Kitty's Wood. The crash proved fatal for all the crew members, the plane exploding upon contact. The crew members were Sergeant David Roberts, Sergeant Ray Groom of the Royal Australian Air Force, Flight Sergeant Angus Frederick Roberts, Flight Sergeant Robert Melbourne Boats, and Flight Sergeant William Neil Reeves of the Royal Canadian Air Force. The men are buried next to each other in the Wargrave section in West Cemetery at Darlington. Thank you, Anne. And so today we gather to honour these men who gave their lives for the better cause in those days of an imaginable terror. Before we turn to prayer, let's have another moment of silent reflection and then I'll break that short silence with a prayer. Loving and compassionate Father God, we give you thanks for these young men as we honour their memory this day. We think of their courage and loyalty as they fought against the evil that seemed to reign in those far-off days. We bring their families before you now as we think about how they might have felt upon hearing the death of their loved ones in a friendly land so very far away. And we ask your blessing upon them now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus himself spoke of that sacrifice, which is the ultimate sacrifice, 
And I'd like to ask Jean Cowing now to come and read from John's Gospel. Jean, thank you. The Bible reading is taken from the 15th chapter of John, verses 12 to 17. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Shut! Stand up, Bella! Curry, stand up! So now the time has come as we stand before this memorial. We ask God's blessing upon it, that all who look upon it might remember not only these young men whom today we honour, but all who lose their lives for the love of others. Amen. So let us gather all our prayers together, spoken and unspoken, as we pray together the Lord's Prayer, which you'll find on the back of your leaflets. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest with each one of you and those whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Well, it's a wonderful thing that's happened tonight. And so can I say to you all, go in peace to love and serve the Lord all the days of your life. Amen. Thank you.